How you doing everyone? I am here with a new DaVinci Resolve color grading tutorial and today I am going to create that warm cinematic look as you guys requested on my latest shorts video. I mostly use the DaVinci Resolve's built-in tools in order to create this look but at the end I use the Dehancer plugin in order to accentuate the filmic and cinematic vibe of this video. If you like to get this amazing plugin you can use my coupon code MEHRANHD in order to get 10% off out of of your first purchase. No more talking, let's dive into the DaVinci Resolve and see the process. So I have imported my S-Log3 footage into the DaVinci Resolve and now I want to create a new timeline using this clip. I will turn off the use project settings and I will set the color space to DaVinci White Gamut as my previous tutorials because I want to work in that color space. And now my timeline is created. This was shot in 100 frames per second with the Sony S7 IV in full HD and it was shot in 8 bits. So remember that it was shot in 8 bit, but we are going to get a good result even though this is a slog tree. So we go to the color page. Now I want to create nine nodes and I will start creating my nodes. The first node is going to be my noise reduction. The second node is going to be the CST. The third node is going to be my lift, gamma and gain. The next one is going to be hue. The other one is going to be tones. After that, we have the vignette. We have another CSD, we have Sharpen, and at last we have the Dehancer plugin. I will park my footage somewhere around here, and now I want to go to this first CSD and I will search for the color space transform and I will drop it, and for the other CSD node also I'm going to drop the color space transform, and for the first CSD node we are going to put the input color space to S gamut 3 because this was shot in S log 3, and then I will uh, use the input gamma as the S log 3 as you see, and for the output color space I'm going to use the DaVinci white gamut because we are working in a DaVinci white gamut zone as we set the timeline and then the DaVinci intermediate for the output gamma. Now we go to the last CST node and here again I want to use the input color space as DaVinci white gamut and the input gamma as DaVinci intermediate and now because we want to export this footage for YouTube, Instagram and other social networks, the color space and color and the output gamma are going to be the Rec 709. So I select the Rec 709 and here for the gamma again, I will select the Rec 709. As you see, we have a proper conversion here from the S log tree to the Rec 709. Now we are ready for the color correction and the color grading. The first thing which I'm going to do is to remove some of the noise which we have in this footage because it was shot in a slog tree with the full HD 8-bit codec and we have a little bit of noise in the dark areas because it was shot around the sunset and we did not have so much light so it is common to see noise in the dark areas as you see here so I'm going to go to my noise reduction note and here I will uh, use the frames as 3 and I will increase the chroma and luma to around 6 and as you see we have removed some of those noise and it works great the noise reduction feature of the DaVinci Resolve is really awesome and for the special threshold I want to remove the noise from the chroma and as you see it removes some of the color noise here and it works great guys it is really awesome this is an amazing feature in DaVinci Resolve and here is my noise reduction for this footage after that I want to go to my lift gamma and gain node and I will start with the HDR I want to increase the saturation saturation a little bit so I give it a little bit of saturation because this is a sunset shot and we want a little bit of saturation not so much because we want to play more with the tones rather than colors so I just add a tad bit of saturation and then I want to increase the temperature because I want to make this footage warmer I will increase the temperature around 500 and I think it's enough I will do the rest with the tones and I want to add a little bit of tint to this shot so I make it more magenta around three I think is good and this is it for the HDR wheels now I want to go to my primaries now I want to add a little bit of contrast to the shadows I just 
add a little bit of contrast to the shadows and I do not want to touch the gamma and gain because this is around the sunset and we do not want so much contrast in the highlights. I want to keep my highlights low because I want to add tonality so I'm going to decrease the highlights here as you see when I decrease the highlights we see much more tonality and color in my top area so I will put my highlights around minus 40 and after that I go to my log wheels and I want Want to decrease my shadows so I add a little bit of contrast to my shadows as you see it only affects the lower black areas and adds a beautiful contrast to them and after that I go to my hue nodes and here I want to change the color of the grass so I make them more yellowish it's now more green so I go to hue versus hue and I select the greens I want to increase this range so I have a good feather on it here I want to increase this hue to around 20 as you see it makes the grass much more yellowish which helps the scene to become more warm and it uh, becomes more natural when you do the color grading so we have a much more yellowish greens here again I want to increase it a little bit to give it a good feathering and as you see if I enable and disable this you see that we have a much more yellowish greens which helps our overall mood of the color grading and after that we go to the tones note for the tones note i want to use this primaries colors bars and i will start with the gain because most of this image is sitting around the highlights so i will decrease the blues i want to add yellow to the highlight area so i will decrease the blues as you see this becomes much more warmer and then i want to also decrease my greens so we have a magenta tone in the highlight areas and as you see around 96 we have a much more warmer look then i want to add some red to the highlights to make this image much more warmer and as you see we have created a beautiful warm look and for the gamma again i can decrease the blues as you see the mid tones again become much more yellowish and we can also decrease the greens so we remove some of the greens from the mid tones and as you see we made this image much more warmer with just playing with the tones and i think it's a really good base for the dehancer to proceed now I go to my vignette node I want to create a window as you see here because this adds much more depth to the image and I want to add a lot of softness to it and I want to invert the mask so we have a selection around the subject and then we go to the curves and I will disable this I go to my custom curves and I will decrease this and as you see we have a lot of depth by adding just vignette it's an amazing effect I always use use it and as you see we made the subject pop out of the frame it is really beautiful guys this is my vignette node and then i go to my sharpen node and i want to add a tad bit of sharpness here as you see it makes my image much more sharper and i really use this effect just a little bit in all of my color grading process now we get to the most important part of the color grading which is the dehancer but I made a mistake here I put the dehancer node before the CSC this is a mistake I should remove this node and I will create a new node sorry guys I will add the serial node and I will put the dehancer at the end this is the proper node setup and now I put the dehancer plugin here this is an amazing plugin if you did not watch my before videos you can get this plugin with 10% off with my coupon code Mehran HD this is an amazing workflow it would dramatically change your color grading process and it would give so much cinematic vibe to your videos and for the setup I will use the input as the rec 709 because here in the CSC node we have the output color space and output gamma to rec 709 so here for the input I will use the rec 709 and here we have lots of film looks and I want to use the Cine as still 800T for this look it uh, gives such a warm filmic look to this scene and then I will go to the film developer and I will enable it and I want to use the contrast boost to around 12 it gives uh, such a beautiful contrast to the image and we go to the film compression I want to enable it as you see it just compresses the highlights and it helps the scene to become much more cinematic like a film look and after that we go to the extend I want to extend the blacks to around 65 it gives us such a good contrast if I enable and disable this it gives a good contrast to my black areas and after that I go to the print I want to use the tonal contrast it adds a beautiful contrast to the mid tones I will 
put it around 3.2 i think it's a beautiful contrast in the midtones and then here we get to the most exciting part which is the color head i enable the color head and then i want to add some yellow to my footage and as you see it becomes much more warmer we have such a beautiful color in the overall picture around minus 15 and then i want to add a little bit of magenta so i will decrease this to left so we go to get to magenta and i think around minus six is good and then i will want to add a little bit of cyan because it became so red so here as you see i put the cyan to around minus four i think it's good and we have a beautiful image here it just turned out much more warm and more cinematic and here again for the shadow tones i want to increase this so we have a much more of those warmish tones in the shadows as you see in the grass and it becomes much more unique and uniform and for the mid tones again i want to increase this as you see if i increase it we have much more warmish and yellowish in the sky and if i decrease it it adds a blue to the sky so i want to increase this as you see we add yellow tones to the sky to around i think 32 is good and we have the highlights again it turns the highest points of the tones so if i decrease this as you see around the sun we get bluish tones and if i increase it to around i think 40 is good we get a good color around the sun we have a yellow color which makes the image much more uniform now i want to go to my film grain and i think around 20 is good for my film grain i just want it to be subtle as you see it has a beautiful film grain to the picture and here for the halation it's a really nice effect which we had on the film stocks on the contrasty areas around the picture as you see here we have a red halation and after that i want to enable the bloom again it adds a really nice bloomy effect around the subject and then i want to use the film damage this is a really nice effect and adds damage so it looks like a film i want to increase it to around 20 and as you see if i play it you will see the film damage effect it is really nice and then we have the film breeze gate weave i'm not going to use these options for this video and i am pleased with the result i have achieved here as you see if i enable and disable this you will see that how much far we came with this color gating and it became such a warm sunset look and the vibe of this image is something so much classic and i really like this vibe if i show you the before and after you see that and here is the color grading tutorial as you guys requested for this video so thank you so much for watching this video guys i truly appreciate the love and support you gave to my tutorials i am really amazed by the support this community gives me and i truly appreciate it if you have any questions please feel free to drop them in the comment sections and I will be seeing you in my future videos. Goodbye.